ignorance of this. I took daily risks on Earth's behalf as I awoke, stretched and laughed, consuming from the moment I rose. Yawn, pee, fart, wiped my ass with wet wipes, peachy clean but not green. Air freshness sprayed to mask, blue chemicals swirled down the loo when fresh lavender, lemons or vinegar would do. Subconsciously I was saying, I don't give a shit about the planet. Tore off more perforated tissue, the world sliding issues begin. Ran the tap, pumped the manufactured soap onto my skin, the plastic dispenser read, sea breeze, antibacterium. Sleepily standing at the sink, I think in my hazy delirium, don't we need some bacteria? There are natural fighters. Squeeze the man-made tube of minty paste, more unsmiling waste. My convenience at the earth's inconvenience, I'm in a rush. Must invest in a bamboo toothbrush. I sink into my chair, a cool drink from the frigid air, poured from the coated cardboard container with the carefully designed non-drip synthetic spout that makes no mess. Not impressed by that irony, watching the juicer sits idly. Parents join the mile high club of toppling piles of disposable nappies that sit in landfills for generations before they even start to break down. We're the clowns, building a foundation of crappy plastic, not fantastic or so easily disposed of. Let's break this strangling chain and rein in our expendable choices for our children's children who are voiceless. Watching on, we couldn't feel finer in our prettily designed and packaged products collecting life's flow from our vaginas. Tampons, tubes and padding regularly bought and discreetly disposed of, but to where? Let's face facts, they're so heavily taxed, they'll keep quiet about the cheaper, greener alternative out there. Save money on our earth by purchasing a moon cup just once. Then we'll leap into sports fads, smiling like all the ads say we do at that time of the month. Maybe tomorrow I'll sort out the glaring changes needed around me, but less tomorrows for the creatures of the sea, with no voice or choice in the matter, in a clatter of human fools. We rule from a school of thought that ignores mountains of minuscule plastic droplets that bejewel and fuel our lives. Never satiated by the rainbow of mass-produced forms we've cleverly created, invented for our short-term fix and delight, or just to save time. Life's magpie shinier things climb, glossing over and distracting us, sweeping, challenging world problems under the carpet or into the sea. Cesspools of waste slowly seeping, creeping into our beautiful waters, drowning in our throwaway lifestyles. Even the food we eat is being affected, tainted by our expulsions, daily chemicals, sprays and gases as the masses turn a blind eye, relaxing in the green room of life. Animals try desperately to search for ground, to forage and survive in our tarmac, slabbed and civilised infrastructure. Our green and acquiescent land rains smog, polluted tears upon us. We're slowly but surely wrecking and wreaking havoc in our world. Shh, enough earth stuff. Mum's the word. More mantras of not knowing, but we know. We console ourselves that at least we recycle in that daily cycle that we know deep down we can do more. Just a decision away, second by second, day by day. No matter what our mates say, we can amend lifelong habits, learnt behaviours passed down, refraining from this daily drain, the earth's running on empty, and yes, I know I drove here today. I'm not perfect in any way. It's a challenge, life's balance. But I'm learning and discovering natural recipes and remedies for cleaning me from within, my home, environment, 
my skin. A daily warrior, not worrier, of shared tomorrows on borrowed time, as precarious, precious and delicate as that is. We often fear change in our chosen and aware. Let's start to care again in our bumpy love affair with life.